Oh, hello everybody. This is Russell Van Dyken from Out of the Doldrums. Uh, you don't get your minute today, you get me. <laughs> so today I am going to talk about how to make a filter mask. We have a design. Uh, we've tested it with several doctors and so we're making them up at Seabury Hall and uh, Jennifer's taking the lead on that. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about things that you might have around your house that you can make a filter mask from. Uh, so I have a design. Uh, this will be linked below. You'll be able to print it out on your printer. So once you have it printed out, you want to make a pattern that you can trace. I have a, a pattern material, but you can use cardboard, just thin cardboard, or um, you know the bottoms of uh, re re some reusable shopping bags has a, a plastic material. Uh, to kind of hold the bag flat, you can use that material as well. So you'll need the pattern. Uh, make a pattern that you can cut out, that you can trace. Okay, um, a knife of some sort that you can cut. Scissors will work as well. Um, you will need scissors to do a good job. Anything that can cut fabric. Uh, a Sharpie or uh, if you're a pro, you can use uh, um, like a tailor's chalk uh, or something else to mark the fabric. It really doesn't matter, just something to mark the fabric. Uh, some type of flexible wire. This is uh, plumbing solder. Uh, it's a little bit more flexible, but it's still quite stiff. Uh, you also need some type of duct tape. This is Gorilla Tape. You need some type of elastic. So I didn't have any elastic around, but I had an old bike tire, a flat bike tire. Um, this one happened to be a new bike tire that I had sitting around. Um, and so we'll just cut this up and we'll use this for uh, the elastic strap. Um, but if you have elastic, you can use that. So anything that's uh, elastic material to go around the back of your head, uh, you'll need that. And then a couple other essential components, right? So what is the mask made out of? Uh, this outer material here um, is a reusable shopping bag. So I used a Mana uh, shopping bag because we're here in Maui and we like to go to, to Mana Foods. Um, You'll also need some uh, paper towel material. This is white rags. I got these at Lowe's. You can get them at Home Depot, uh, like a shop towel, but this is a, uh, like a paper product. And you'll also need some type of a filter. So uh, this is what I could get my hands on. I have some more coming from Amazon. They're uh, 2200. Um, I found that the Filtreat, uh, the 3M Filtreat, not sponsored, just what I could get my hands on. Uh, works the best just because of the way that the, if you can see the, uh, there's a, like a metal mesh over it. Um, and the mesh touches the tops of the, the peaks uh, because it has this woven pattern or this folded pattern, uh, kind of accordion like. So it hits the top and so it's much easier to pull it off. I got these other filters in the mail um, that they have the metal mesh goes up and down into the peaks and valleys with the fabric. Um, and taking this metal mesh off actually destroys the fabric and then it doesn't work as good for filtering uh, viruses and whatnot. It's actually, this is a better fabric. Uh, it has a higher rating for filtering smaller particles. Uh, however, you destroy it by pulling this off. Uh, so basically to get it off, you're just gonna rip off the whole cardboard um, and then pull off the metal and kind of extract it from its cardboard case and then you'll be able to use that fabric. And so once you have it out of the case, it's gonna look like this. Um, so it's just kind of accordion out. There's gonna be glue on the edges. You can just kind of slowly pick that off or just choose not to use that area. All right, so the mask itself is um, four layers. The outer layer uh, can be a reusable shopping bag. Um, this has been through the wash, so maybe it's not as good. So if you have a crispy brand new Target bag, uh, that'll work. Um, this is a bag from Mana Foods. Uh, this is what the mask is made out of today. Uh, the nice blue fabric. Uh, but you want to make sure that uh, the, the, the logos or whatever it happens to be, I looked at uh, like Lululemon bags, uh, really nice bags, but they're coated in a plastic. Um, so I can't use this area because this has like a silk screen. It's plastic and it's not going to let air flow as nicely through it. Uh, so that's where like a Target bag that doesn't have any printing and just the color is integral into the fabric. Look for that. All right, so first layer is reusable shopping bag. Inner layer, the innermost layer is uh, this white rag material or uh, paper towel. This is really sturdy stuff. If it gets wet, it's not gonna fall apart on you. 
Um, so I just take and just will iron it out, make it really flat, and you'll trace on there. Um, the middle two layers are the uh, filter material, okay? Uh, and so I'll do two layers of that. Uh, if you look on the box, it has a direction on the filter. So uh, it says airflow this way. To my knowledge, it doesn't really matter which way it goes as long as you cover the inhale and the exhale. So you want it to filter both ways, not just one way. Um, so just make sure that the both arrows face out or face in. Um, and so it really doesn't matter too much. So what you need to do is basically just pick a side. It doesn't really matter which side, but then do all your pattern tracing on one side. So whichever side has the mark on it, just make sure that that goes facing each other or facing out, if that makes sense. Um, that way you kind of cover your bases to make sure you're filtering uh, both directions. Okay, so I think that covers what the uh, masks are made out of. Um, the elastic, we will cut from uh, just inner tube uh, and the, the strips are about a quarter inch long. And so I'll, I'll put some more uh, specifications on on how long the straps need to be, but pretty much uh, for everybody it's gonna vary um, depending on how big your face is. And so uh, if you're building it for yourself, it can be kind of custom done. Uh, so you just sew one side and then pull it around, see how tight, maybe make a mark or have a partner help you. Uh, if you're in isolation or quarantine or lockdown with somebody, they can help you. If not, you can do it yourself pretty easy. Um, I did mine by myself. Um, and then also, uh, that kind of covers the layers. Uh, there's one other component is a, um, a cotton, I don't know, to clean your face with kind of thing, cleaning makeup. Okay, so the, uh, the cotton ovals or cotton whatever. Um, I got these at Target. They weren't very expensive. There's 50 in a bag. Um, but the, the whole point of this is you stick it in the nose piece um, and the shape of it actually kind of seals down because the edges taper um, and that creates a nice seal around your nose that uh, then when you exhale you don't get air up into your eyes which is really annoying and could be potentially dangerous because you're blowing uh, virus up into your <laughs> eyes. Um, and so to hold the nose piece rigid um, we're using, um, I'm using plumber's uh, lead-free solder. Um, it bends quite easy. You can also use like a 14, 15 gauge copper wire, house wire. Um, we've tried to use some um, uh, 12 gauge house copper wiring. It's a little bit too stiff. Um, so you wanna find just a little bit thinner, but don't go too thin because then it's not flexible. Uh, we tried to use some Aluminum foil, fold it up. It just, it's not stiff enough to really hold that nose piece if you really want it to be uh, fitting nicely. So uh, the top layer is basically we just glue on or tape on. Uh, Gorilla tape I found works really well because it's really sticky. Uh, so basically you just lay this piece down uh, and tape over it and then trim it down. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. Okay, one more thing before we get started that I should mention you will need or should have a sewing machine. You could probably sew it uh, by hand, uh, but a sewing machine makes it much faster, easier, and you might get a little bit better finish uh, if you're not a really great uh, person sewing by hand. Also, an iron is helpful. Um, I don't really use an ironing board. I just kind of have a, a board with a towel I put over it. Uh, be careful because these materials are uh, with the exception of the paper towel, they're all made of plastic and you can easily melt them and they'll lose their efficacy. So um, I, I go to my setting on my iron says wool. So in the silk wool category, fairly medium um, light heat is really all you need. And in some cases you may not even need to iron it. Uh, it is mo more useful to kind of get this accordion look <laughs> out of the filter material and kind of iron it flat so you can um, trace on it a little bit easier. Um, so I, I am using an iron, but you don't have to. It does make it easier. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first of all, let's just go ahead and grab some of the white rag material. So white rags, um, or it can be blue. Just make sure that it's, it's woven really tightly. I don't know if you can see through this or see it. 
Uh, but you're not going to, when if you hold it up to the light, you can't see really any bright pinholes through it. Uh, and so that's what you're looking for when you're looking for the filter materials. Um, so all of these layers will filter and all the layers in combination make it a, a much safer um, and hopefully we filter out the virus. Uh, the filtrate, the 1500 or above will filter virus uh, for a couple reasons because you have um, just the mechanical layer of it. It's very tight um, uh, fibers put together, but it's not woven. So there's not like regular holes in it. Um, and also it's electrostatically charged. So even if there is a hole, like if you imagine a screen, the small particles of the virus as you inhale or exhale are going to get sucked to that material. So hopefully the, the virus doesn't make it through. All right. Uh, so th that's the design. So hopefully you like it. If not, that's fine too. Let us know in the comments below. But this is what we're doing. Uh, this is what I'm making for my wife and she's going to the front lines to the hospital. And so this is what she's wearing. Um, and so I feel comfortable sending her to the front lines with this. Um, you know, everybody has their own um, ideas of what works, what doesn't. It's not an N95. It may be as good, it may be better, but it's not been tested. So you do the best you can do. We're all doing the best we can do. Uh, all right. So ironing. So turning on the iron to let's do wool setting. We'll let that warm up for a second. Um, have my white towel. I need to get a little bit of this filter material started so that it's kind of laying flat. We'll pick off the glue. All right. Be careful when you're pulling off the glue that you don't damage the filter material. So this is where the, the frame was. Um, maybe I'll just leave it. We'll just cut around that. Okay. So we're going to take, uh, you know, about a, a foot by foot is going to be enough to do one uh, layer. So but we're doing two layers of this. Um, and so we're going to need uh, two, okay, of the middle piece, right? So the, this is what this would be the middle piece. And we're going to need uh, four of the top pieces, which is uh, this piece here. So on everything else, it's going to be one and two pieces. Okay. And then this bottom piece is the shape of the tape on the top for the nose to hold the, the nose shape. Okay. And I kind of that's where it goes. Um, all right, so it'll make more sense when I start cutting it out for you. All right, so just put a cloth that's not gonna melt on top. Um, and make sure your iron is low heat. All right, so I'm just determining how much material I need. I know that I can get uh, one of the front pieces and two of the um, top and bottom pieces out of one white cloth. So it's about a foot by a foot. Um, and so if I just kind of lay that over, I have a pretty good idea that that's going to work for me. Um, if I flip it over one more time, that should be enough filter material. So I'm just going to cut down uh, this width, just give myself a little bit of extra, uh, just because then it's easier for me to deal with uh, just this smaller piece than the whole uh, filter by itself. So actually, so I think we can get three layers out of the, just this one piece, um, but we'll just make one mask to start with here. So, okay. So filter cloth or white rag material. This is the filter cloth. Okay. Um, you can fold it over and, and cut them uh, as doubles. I'm just going to cut them out single. I found that works better for me, but if you want to just fold it over, trace it and then cut it double and you feel comfortable with that do that. Okay, um, and then the last piece is going to be uh, the shopping bag, the mono bag. So I'll go ahead and just cut that up now. Oh, so I would like to say that um, for this uh, project, just the side, I don't know the size of this bag exactly, but it uh, one, just the side of it, the, the skinny side of it is enough to do one mask with the outer, outer layer of the mask. Okay, so I'm going to start with the outer layer. It's going to be a little bit hard to see. I'm using a Sharpie, just a black felt marker. Um, so I just lay my pattern. Uh, this is plastic. So my patterns are this uh, um, patterning material you use for countertops and um, uh, lots of pattern making. But um, you could also use the bottom of this came in the bottom of this bag. It's a stiffener. Um, this will work perfectly too. So just uh, take your printed out that you printed out on your printer. 
um, tray, cut it out and then trace on top of it and then cut it out of plastic. So then you have some nice reusable and then you can make lots more masks. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay this out on here. Uh, two of these smaller ones, one of these. Um, and you kind of just have to nest them in here so that they're all gonna fit. Uh, you can flip them over, see how it's gonna work for you. And I think that'll work. And then you just go ahead and trace it. I don't know if it matters to anybody, but even if the edge isn't perfect or if it goes over and you can't quite get the edge, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so now that I've uh, traced all of the patterns, uh, so the white rag, um, fill treat filter material, the reusable shopping bag. Um, look, if you don't have the filter material, use two layers of this and two layers of your paper towel material that will work as well. Uh, or get creative, you know, just anything that can filter um, the virus. If you hold it up, there's not a bunch of big holes in it. Uh, if you want, you could do maybe four layers even of just the, reus or the reusable shopping bag. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to town cutting it out and then we'll start putting the layers together. All right, so I hate sewing layers because they get all out of shape. Um, so I've taken the, the white rag, put that on one layer. Um, taken two layers of uh, the filter material that faced um, each other. And then I've taken a layer of uh, the, the reusable bag material, just laying it all over each other, okay? And then I'm going to take my pattern, okay? And I'm gonna mark them. I'm gonna mark them, but I'm not gonna cut them out. I'm gonna sew them. Okay, so I'm gonna pin it. I'm just gonna do two layers, or the, the top piece and the bottom piece, and I'm pinning it um, where it's not gonna actually be actual mask, but I, I need to hold it in place just a little bit. Make sure you pin it where you're not actually gonna use mask material. Just give it one more here. And sewing is not my specialty. Somebody else could probably do a much better job, but I'm really just trying to show you what the design is. Okay, so now I'm gonna sew this, uh, just the, the bottom of the smiley face part of the pattern, um, and then we'll put it together on there. Okay, so I'm going uh, about a quarter inch in from the line, keeping the line of the mask right against the edge, but you guys can figure out how to sew it yourselves um, if you know how to sew. Okay, so now that I've got uh, just the one edge sewn on both of them, I'm gonna take and cut all of these layers out and we're gonna sew it to the middle piece. So, here I go. Okay, so these are the ones that we've just sewn um, all together and then cut out. Uh, just the, the bottom and the top are, now have stitching on them. Um, and so then this one's still just loose layers so we need to be a little bit careful with it. Okay. And so we'll put that there, it's all set up, and then we'll just, the, the little like top of the smiley face, we're gonna put, it'll match up nicely um, with these layers. Put one down, the other one down. So stitching is in the middle, the unsewn portion faces out on both cases, okay? And we'll line these up. Uh, the two layers are gonna overlap just slightly, um, or just exactly lined up. Um, on, the, on these edges here, if you can see these edges are just perfectly lined up. Okay, so uh, then we're just gonna take and run this. There's quite a few layers, but we're gonna run this through the sewing machine. And I'm gonna offset it just the width of the, the presser foot here as well, and just run down the line. Okay, so here we go. And I'm just sewing it out, I'm not back sewing because we're gonna overstitch it in a second here. Okay, so we got one side, let's just go ahead and put down the other side. Okay, so I would like to make a note on the stitching. Uh, it's fairly close together um, and I have the tension set mm, 
appropriately. <laughs> All right, so there's the mask. Uh, we can trim it up these, uh, the loose threads real quick. Okay, so even if the layers didn't quite make it perfectly, um, the top and the bottom should be good because of the way that you sewed it, like everything stacked and cut it out afterwards. Uh, so the pattern's exactly lined up. Um, these, yeah, whatever, you could sew, you could, you could um, cut it to trim it up to make it look pretty, uh, but it's functional either way. Um, the important thing is the nose and the chin are good cuts. Okay, so now um, we're gonna just sew this uh, outer edge. So we're gonna come back about uh, like a half an inch, three eighths of an inch from the edge and just run down just once and we'll overstitch it just a little bit once on both sides and then we'll put the straps on, the nose piece on and the mask will be done. So here we go, I'm just gonna just uh, seal the two edges here. So just come in here, go to the top and I'm just, looks like about a half inch, three eighths of an inch and just tack that down, just straight stitch. And that's that and we'll do the other side. Okay, so now that we have the mask uh, pretty much sewn together, um, it's, it's good. Uh, we'll have to put the nose piece in and we need st um, straps, right? So we need straps to hold it on. So uh, the straps we're gonna make out of this uh, Cannondale bicycle tire for my mountain bike. Um, let's see. So earlier I had marked kind of how long it is, about the width of my board. Um, here is a drywall square, probably not the best <laughs> thing to use uh, for a measuring tool, but it is um, unstretched is 15 inches. So that's what worked on Irmina. That worked with the mask length. So that's a good place to start. Um, it's fairly stretchable, so adjust accordingly to the size of your face. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors. I have a mark here at 15 inches. Done. Okay. Now uh, I'm just going to run the scissors down because the tire was folded just kind of down in a straight line. Uh, there should be maybe even like a, a line from when it was manufactured. So you can just run down that straight line. Try to cut it as straight as possible. Um, once it's open, you want to take, there's, there's going to be some like um, talc or something to kind of keep it uh, from sticking to itself. So I, I want to get rid of that. I don't want that to be against our skin. So I'm just going to try to wipe it off the best I can with the towel. Um, and then that can go on the out, out facing side. So uh, now that the inner tube's open, I'm going to take a straight edge. I'm going to use the, uh, the drywall square. I'm just gonna lay it on here. Uh, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna kind of just uh, make a first straight cut because the inner tube is, is curved uh, with the size of the tire. So I'm gonna have a little piece here that's gonna kind of have a big belly and then go to zero on both ends. So I'm just gonna cut it so it's straight um, so we can make this work a little bit easier for us. Um, and just press down, hold tight and cut it trim it up. So now the inner tube is curved at the top, but I have a straight edge. Okay. So now I'm going to move up just about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little proud of a quarter inch. Okay. We don't want the straps too thick. Okay. So I'm going to cut that up and just cut a little strip. Okay. So we have our first strip. Uh, about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit bigger than a quarter inch. So I'm going to cut one more. Okay, so then it's back to the sewing machine. So we're going to sew um, both on one side. So we're going to take and run them across the front of the mask. Okay, um, so the front of the mask and we're going to tack them down right here where we just ran that kind of sealing stitch. Um, I've experimented a little bit. So this one, we're gonna keep the stitching uh, for the ties on the outside of this sealing stitch. So it's gonna be in this outer area where it's not gonna matter um, the type of stitching and how loose it is. Um, I'm also gonna use a, a wide zigzag uh, stitch um, to sew it so we get a little bit more. Otherwise, if it's too tight, it's gonna just basically cut the inner tube material in half. So wide zigzag stitching on it, okay? So I'm going to line that one up on the bottom, this one up on the top, and 
run it through the machine. And actually, I think I'm going to put um, a little backing on it too um, so that it slides across. So I'm just going to just lay this on here while I stitch it and I'll trim it off in a second. Okay. So set your machine up for zigzag and you'll need to adjust your tension as well because it's a lot of layers. And once again, I am not a seamstress, but I've sewn a bit. So do what you need to do. Most of you are going to know better than me. So I'm lining up this uh, material um, just with the, the line of the, um, that, that ceiling stitch. All right, so it's a little tricky because you can't see, but this material is actually nice because otherwise the rubber tubing, the inner tube is too sticky to run across the presser foot. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, done there. Boom. And we're going to do the next one. Stick that in there. We're going to sew in this area. Don't go inside of that line. So we'll just line that up and bada bing, bada boom. And that's it. So then we'll take it out. Okay. And we got a lot of loose threads. We'll trim those up. And let's trim this up to, okay. And so when you put the mask on, these are going to fold back. Okay. Um, and they'll, they'll hold on with that, that piece of material. Okay. So now, um, probably need to put it on your face to see what the distance is. So you're going to have to pick a bottom and a top, right? Okay. So we're going to just pick a side. Um, you want to keep this front layer flat. So as you fold it open, you want to keep that. So you want to make sure you fold it that way. Okay. So it's going to fit kind of, we'll do the nose piece in a second. Okay. And then pull the strap around up and over. Yeah. And so that's going to work out just fine. So what I'm going to do, the length is right. I'm just going to go ahead and sew the other one. So we're going to run these across the front. Um, make sure they're all lined up and sew them on the other side, just the same as we did the first. Okay. And that's that. We'll trim that up and get the nose piece and the mask will be done. Okay. So there's our straps. Now let's do the nose piece. Let's do some solder. So this could be wire as well. I have a piece already cut. Um, here's a piece that we were experimenting with a piece of copper. So it looks like we have almost exactly five inches. So whatever piece of wire, do it five inches long. Um, if it's thick wire, you can um, just leave the ends. If it's thinner wire, you can loop around the, the ends, make sure it's five inches long. So you want to put it about a quarter inch from the edge. So pretty close to your stitching. Okay. And so then the curve of the wire is going to match the curve of uh, the top of the mask. Okay. So then, you're going to just set your piece of tape on, make sure it's centered on each edge. So you'll have about a half an inch. Um, but you know, if you're an inch longer, you're going to have a half inch on each side. Um, and the edges, so the bottom edge of the tape can come right to the bottom edge of the wire. So you'll be able to kind of just like see. Okay. So let's just pop that on there, there. And there, it's not super critical. Okay, so I'm pressing it down really tight. Okay, so now <laughs> you have to trim off the back of the glue. Okay, so we're gonna get, just go along that edge and trim the edge of the tape. Um, if you wanna cut it at a slight angle so that it's cut back, this is what's gonna be against your nose and your eyes. So you wanna try to get the tape um, away from your nose and eyes as much as possible, okay? So while it's still flat, we'll just kind of cut and I'll cut it down at an angle a little bit to trim it. Okay. And if you're doing another mask, you may be able to use the other side of this. Okay. So it's not a lot of tape there. We'll go ahead and save that. So then go ahead and push it down tight, 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 tight. Okay. So just take and, uh, Find the center, uh, fold it in half, 
make sure that's tight enough for your nose. Uh, basically, this is the shape that you're trying to make, so then you want to make a couple wings on it. And once you get it close, go ahead and put it on your face. Press it down so that you have a good seal. Okay. And then once you have that, you can take and put it on your face. Bring your straps over. Make sure everything fits right. Make sure the space front is flat. And there you have it. So uh, once you have the mask kind of fitted, one last piece that you can add. This is a good seal against my face, but if it's not quite good enough around your nose, um, you can grab one of these uh, cotton ovals. I got them at Target. Um, I like to put the, the flat side towards your nose. There's a textured side that can go up um, into the mask and the oval goes long ways to your face, okay, if that makes sense. So then just tuck that in and this top piece can overlap just a little, or come towards your eyes just a little bit more. So just tuck that in and it can just sit in there and then you can put the mask on again and try it out. And that works fantastic for me. It was good before, but now it's even better. Uh, so there you have it. This is the filter mask um, that we're making here in Maui. You can make it for yourself at home. Um, inner tube tires and cotton swabs and paper towels. And if you have some filter material, um, otherwise you can do three layers of the, 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 this cloth and a reusable shopping bag. Uh, a little Gorilla duct tape um, and some sewing. So if you have a sewing machine, some materials, uh, go to town and please let us know uh, what modifications you make. Uh, this is the filter mask with a reusable shopping bag on the outside. So if you're a medical professional, you can get some surgical wraps and use some outer layers or all the filter layers could be made from surgical wraps. If you have those, if you're a medical professional, if not, please, please, please save those for medical professionals that need them. Uh, reusable shopping bags are great. Um, it's great use for them. Uh, thanks to Jen for making the pattern and helping us with this project. So, so Jen has uh, helped me with the pattern um, and this design. Uh, they're making some masks for our medical professionals, doctors um, up at Seabury Hall here in Maui. Um, but uh, so they're working on that, but this can be for the general public or if you're a medical professional, contact us, we'll help you uh, with the design for um, masks that you can wear in the hospital that's a little bit more virus resistant. Otherwise, this is what I'm going to be wearing around town to protect myself uh, while my wife is at the hospital. Uh, for hers, we're going to be just changing out this outer layer is the only change. Uh, we're going to be using um, the surgical wrap, uh, which has a little bit of antiviral coating on it and a little more waterproof in case it gets splashed with uh, <laughs> bodily fluids. So um, anyway, so let us know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, we'll leave the pattern, a link to the pattern, so we'll put that up. Uh, but yeah, here's the design. So uh, with that, stay safe, stay well, and aloha everybody.